What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Legendary Jamez, and we're back with a new series here on the channel. Some a little different than you will usually see on this channel. We're going to be doing a rebuild with an undrafted QB, seeing if we could turn him possibly into an MVP, but the main goal is to get him to lead us to a Super Bowl, get us a nice little chip right quick. So that's the main, that's the objective of this series. Once we get that chip, the series will probably be dead. Maybe we'll finish, finish it with a long career sim or something. But I got a good idea from this from watching uh, KOT4Q, my boy Kenny, watching him uh, do, he did one about maybe a month ago, I'm kind of thinking about doing it, found myself a little time right here, but he did an undrafted uh, player in NBA 2K23 into an MVP, that I remember Mr. Hurricane a few years ago did it in Madden 20, turned an undrafted QB, trying to rebuild him into a championship, uh, rebuild him to get a championship, so... Kind of got the idea from both of them, so let's see if we could do it here in Madden 23. We're going to go ahead and do it here with the Indianapolis Colts. I was With the whole situation with the Colts right now, how dysfunctional they are. We're going to go ahead, finish this season, go through the draft. We're going to do the offseason like we're taking them over, but we're going to end up picking up whatever the best undrafted quarterback is. He did, I believe Mr. Kane picked the worst. We're going to go ahead and pick whatever one we want. Any of the undrafted QBs from that draft, we could go ahead and pick up and put them on the team. So that is what we're going to do in this series with how the Colts don't really have a QB. We'll see if we could be uh, turn him into the Super Bowl winning quarterback that they need. So it was between Indy. I was really stuck between Indy here and the New Orleans Saints. Both of them both have kind of a QB situation at the moment. But I ended up opting with the Colts. They're a little more dysfunctional at the moment. Felt like it'd be just a little bit of a better story. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to rock out with right here. Let's go ahead and select the Colts here. Obviously, Frank Reich ain't there. Let's go ahead and take it over as us right quick. No, not a roll. Custom coach. So let me go ahead and do this real quick. All right, so right here for this series, we are going to just end up doing a auto-generated rookie class for this. That way we could kind of just randomly get our, uh, what you call it, quarterback. And we're kind of just going to pick up scouting from here, I guess. I believe everyone's already going to be assigned, so we kind of... Get screwed here in the first season with the scouting, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Who is our national defensive and inside uh, linebacker scout? Do we already have some scouting progress on them is the question. Yes, we do. So that's good to see right there. All right. And we'll go ahead and look at the... I believe I'm going to have to actually look at them for the next week for uh, what you call it. But we'll go ahead. I'm going to kind of get through this first part of the season as quick as I can. I'm just going to sim through basically. We're going to go ahead and knock out that week 11, uh, which we call it it's, uh, national scouting scenario. Set that real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and get into the off season. I'm going to sim to the sim to end of the season. But looking at the team that we got right now, we got a very solid team. Obviously, quarterback is the big question mark. We got Ryan Foles and Sam Ellinger. Uh, basically, all of them will be gone unless I don't know what the contract situation is for these two. But. We will end up keeping them. We're going to be throwing that quarterback in to end it. And then we got JT here. Uh, no fullback on the roster. I got to change that. Michael Pittman could use some nice uh, wide receiver depth here. So that would be fun. We get to add a nice little playmaker there. Tight end. The O-line is looking pretty weak. Left tackles has been bad. Quentin Nelson's regressed, but he's still very solid in this game. Solid center. Right guard is real weak. Right tackle solid, though. Okay, good to see. Good to see. Okay, we, we got some work to do here. We do got some work. Yannick. And Gakwe, I liked him on the Raiders last year. Um, good to see him. Inside is looking real nice with Fo Buckner and Grover Stewart. Shaq Leonard. Obviously, we still got to negotiate with some of these. I don't even know who is up for their contract. We got Gilmore outside. That's good. cool to see. Isaiah Rogers. Nice. Brandon Faison. Oh, yeah. We got Gus, uh, Gus Bradley out here running the defense that, which we call it, he was running with the Raiders last year. That's good to see. I thought he was solid for us. All right, so let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and knock out this. Let's go ahead and get into the offseason right here. All right, here we are at the Super Bowl now. Uh, we ended the season going 4-12-1. and 12 and 1. We do have a tie in there. Uh, your Super Bowl matchup is Baltimore Ravens versus the Dallas Cowboys. Go Baltimore, even though we're the Colts, but I don't care. Fuck the Cowboys. Always fuck the Cowboys. So let's actually go ahead. Let's look at yearly awards. Why not? Let's look real quick. Josh Allen winning MVP. Coach of the Year going to Nick Sirianni. And then we go over to AFC Awards, Allen, Max Crosby, yes sir, Defensive Player of the Year. <laughs> Garrett Wilson, Offensive Player of the Year. 
Uh, Derek Stingley Jr. getting defensive rookie of the year. Best QB, Allen, Chubb, Devontae. Love to see it. Joe Dunley, Von Miller, Matthew Judon. Desmond King winning it out. Him and Stingley, top two. Uh, best kicker, Daniel Car Carlson. Love to see it, man. The Raiders still going 6-11, and 11, though, in... Uh, in Madden, that's kind of tough to see. Cooper Cup, 4-13. and 13, the Ram I thought about doing the Rams, too, but I thought they had too many weapons. But maybe they would have been a good rebuild. Maybe I could do a separate one for them or something. Uh, CJ Gardner, Chris Olave, going through here. Jalen Hurd, Saquon Cup, Martin, Bosa, Daniel Hunter, Gardner Johnson, Cody Parkey. Parkley? Parkley? Parkey. All right, so there's your annual awards. Go ahead and sim the Super Bowl. Let's see who wins this one right here. All right, so here we are, end of the year. Baltimore does win it. Lamar, let's go. Love to see it. Did he win uh, MVP, Super Bowl MVP? Roquan, Roquan Smith gets it. Nice. Nice late addition, then. That worked out. So good to see he won it. All right. Uh, let's go ahead, and now we're going to take over as if we are, you know, taking over here in the offseason. They fired everybody. We're coming in. Let's go ahead and get it, baby. Let's go ahead and go over to the resign period. And let's see if we could, I don't even know who our QB is, but let's go ahead and see if we could surround him with some depth, some nice talent, you know, we'll see what we could do. If we could hurry up in advance. All right, here we are. Uh, I'm not even going to lie. Do we even have our first round pick after that, um, whatchamacallit deal? The, I don't think I could look yet. After the Matt Ryan deal, trade deal do we have our picks right here okay we do have our first round pick third so we got first second we have a washington third fourth fifth and six so we got six picks no one two three yeah six six picks to make and four in the top 100 all right good to see good to see uh who they got us taking in the mock at the moment we are at three we're not taking a qb they got us taking a QB, but that's not what we're doing here. Um, like I said, we got to go with somebody else. They have a wide receiver projected to go number one. Wow, they're going to stick with Davis Mills, I guess. That they're going to pick somebody up. I haven't even looked at the scouting yet. We got a little bit to do right here. This might be a two-parter, to be honest. I got somewhere I got to be in a minute. But let's go ahead. Let's take a look. We got Bobby Okarecki, 27 years old. Stanford prospect, 89 speed, 89 tackle. Love to see it. Decent block shit. Good awareness, good play rate, good speed. Just an all-around beast at middle linebacker. How much is he asking for? Uh, none too crazy. Four years, though. Hopefully, he doesn't uh, um, regress too bad. How do he finish this season? 2022. 153 tackles. Six tackles for loss. No picks. I like me a little Stanford guy. Why not? Let's go ahead and re-sign him. Yannick may be somebody. Um... I like Yannick in real life, but I don't think Madden gives him the love he should get. Uh, so it's probably going to be a no there. Paris Campbell may be somebody we bring back. I like him, IRL. Kiki Kuchi. Now nah, I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and let him walk. Ronnie McLeod. Really digressing here. I think the rest of these I'm going to let walk. Brandon Faison. Solid for the Raiders last year. Um, Looking at the rest, probably going to let a lot of these guys walk right here. But let's go ahead and start right here with the main one we don't really have a lot in negotiations at the moment do got 50 mil in cap at the moment uh can we get away with a three-year offer i'll give you a little bit more but just three that way i could help myself a little bit if you regress all right that's fine that's fine i'll go get you how much is the tag 12 i'll see if i get you in free agency yannick I think Yannick, I'm going to go ahead and let test him out in free agency and what he's, see what he's getting. Let's see how many sacks did he get this year. He did get us eight. Damn, he didn't get any in Vegas last year. Hate to see it. He did get us eight this year, though. I think I'll let him go, though. <clears throat> Paris Campbell, 26, Ohio State. Not too bad. What do you give us stat-wise this year? 600 yards, 5 titties, 10 a pop. Um, 2 years, 10 mil. It's not too bad. Only a 5 mil cap hit. Um, He's not really interested, though. I'll go player-friendly. I'll stick it with 2. 
But I'll offer you about six a year. Alright, why not? I might have overpaid a little. I don't want to get rid of everybody. Uh, Yannick is fine. Kiki Kuchi, I'm fine with leaving. Rodney McLeod's too old. Uh, no. I'm good. I'll find me a new kicker, cheaper one. Uh, Brandon Faison. Rating wise, none too crazy. Stat wise, you give me any picks. I think he's a wide receiver. Uh, wide receiver quarterback four though. Uh, I'll let him walk, but I might come back and resign him. Tyquan Lewis. I think I, I think we're gonna let most of these guys walk. We'll go ahead and see what we can do ourselves. New regime here. We're gonna go ahead and see what we can do here. Bringing in some new guys and stuff. A lot of older guys here. If they were young, I might go to, for a re-sign. But we'll go ahead and let a majority of these guys walk, it looks like. And then looking at the rest of our roster right here. Let's see what we got on the books at the moment. Or who we could, what we could do to free up a little bit more space. We still have Matt Ryan here, unfortunately. And I don't think we could cut him for much. Free up 17, but pay a penalty. So, yeah, we wouldn't really be. We keep him and maybe use him as a mentor. Damn, he regressed hard. Sheesh. Is this the last year of his contract, or do we still got another year of this? This is the last year of his contract, at least. So that's not too bad, man. Uh, Nick Foles. Uh, we'll go ahead and release him, though. Uh, free up some money. Yeah, we'll take a little bit more. Uh, Sam Ellinger. You're pretty trash. We'll go ahead and get rid of you. So what do we need to target, really, here in free agency? We need a fullback. Gotta have a fullback. Come on, man. Uh, wide receiver would be nice to add somebody else here. Uh, we do need a wide receiver too, unless we're going to target that in the draft. But even then, I wouldn't mind adding another one. Mo Ali Cox at tight end. Jelani Woods. I don't mind. I don't mind our tight end uh, room. I wouldn't mind the upgrade, but yeah. Offensive line, I would like to find one and then draft one. We got Quentin Nelson. We need a... No, we're good at center with Ryan Kelly for now. Going to need one eventually. So left tackle or right guard is something I want to sign here in free agency. Need a left end. Uh, Quiddy Pay will be fine there at right end. The offensive tackle, we're looking pretty cute there. I'm good with that. Good at left outside linebacker. Gotta go get us a middle linebacker. Right outside linebacker would be nice. At corner, we got Kenny Moore and Stephon Gilmore taking a huge step back in regression. It was like a 90 and he has dropped significantly. I believe Kenny Moore as well. What was his regression like? I thought he was a little higher. No, no regression. Okay. All right, all right. Um, not too bad at corner. I think I will stick with the young guys at safety. To be honest, I'm fine with Nick Cross there, uh, Julian Blackman or Rodney Thomas. Maybe could upgrade, but we'll go. Let's see what let's see what's available. Kareem Hunt, the highest one. Brady's here as well. Uh, let's see. Let's actually go ahead and go through the rest. Tony Pollard, Jamel Dean, Juju, Marcus Davenport. A little bit of a lower uh, free agency class here. Jabril Peppers, Peppers is here, though. I like him a lot. I wouldn't mind bringing him in. Uh, let's go ahead and look QB-wise. We don't need that. Geno Smith, hopefully he could cash out. He's got three teams interested in him. No need uh, for running back. Fullback, that is really what we got to focus on here. That's what's going to take us to this next step here. So let's go ahead and target. Let <laughs> me chill out. Uh, I definitely will sign a full. Eh, maybe we'll draft one. I might look to draft one, to be honest. Wide receiver is something we could use. We could use a wide receiver two behind Michael Pittman. Uh, Juju. Wouldn't be bad. He's a little interested in us, but 15 a year. I'm kind of good off that. Jarvis at 82, a little older. Russell Gage. Only 27. Aguilar here. Julio Jones. None too crazy, unfortunately. None too crazy at all. Uh, may end up passing here. Unless... I ain't paying Jarvis for no three-year deal. They're just all too old. Juju would be the only one probably I'm interested in. Kendrick Bourne asking for too much. Van Jefferson, no. Russell Gage. How's his stats looking? Uh, I can't hit uh, A. I forgot. You got to hit, I believe, X. It's been a little bit since I played this. Player card Y. All right. Looking at Russell Gage here, 27. 
Good short, medium, deep route ain't really there. Good catch and traffic, good spec catch. The release ain't really there. Your basic slot receiver right here. May target that. He may be someone we look at tight end wise. Irv Smith is here. He's very interested. But I think we're good with what we got. It's not really a high priority right there. Jawan James at left tackle. Maybe somebody we need to sign here early. Him or uh, Cameron Fleming possibly. We're good at left guard. Good at center. Uh, right guard Nate Davis. Maybe somebody we need to bring in. And then we can target left tackle in the draft. Uh, I might have to go ahead and go look at who we're targeting at the moment before we uh, go ahead and target all that. Before we go and sign. Larry Ojunjobi, maybe somebody we need to get. We're good at right end with uh, Quiddy Pay over there. Or we go get Marcus Davenport and flip him to the other side. He's only 26. Nine teams interested though. Ojin Joby was pretty nice in my uh, Pittsburgh Steelers uh, franchise that I started. Didn't quite finish it. But Larry Ojin Joby. Eh. Yeah, I'm kind of good there. So we are going to have a few holes to fill. This free agency class is fairly weak, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we go get our middle linebacker back. Let's go target Bobby. I'll pay him a little more. I don't mind the... Uh, I want to see. I'll give him that four-year deal. We'll go ahead and bump this up to 5-5. Five, five. I'll give you 8-7. I think that's a strong offer right there. For Bobby. Oh, Miami going hard for him. All right, all right. Uh, Yeah, four years. Give you four. Five and five, nine mil. Got five million in a bonus. No, still. Woo! All right. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind Denzel Perriman, but man, he just is not that great in coverage. Let's, let's make sure we get Bobby back here. Six. I'm giving you 11 mil a year, my guy. Come on. If this ain't it, then all right. I'm going to Denzel. All right. He ain't fucking with us. I'm offering him 11 mil a year, and he just... That Miami offer is too good. So, we kind of messed up there. Uh, I said we make an offer in Nate Davis, though. Let's go ahead and see if we could solidify that. I think he'll be solid. Let's go ahead and double-check these ratings right quick, but... Good run block or pass block and ain't too crazy, but I really want the run block in there in my guard position. So yeah, let's go ahead and target Nate Davis here. That'll be our other signing right here. Hopefully. Uh yeah, he only wants two years. Let's go player friendly. We'll give him that three year. Uh, let's go like that. I like that right there. Let's go ahead and go through the combine real quick. Let's just see what we got here that we like. Obviously, we are not going QB first. So, I am going to need to target one of these wideouts. Left outside linebacker is going to be a need. That is a power rusher, though. Good power. Hmm. Let me go position by position, I guess. We don't need QB. Don't need no for that. Let's look at these fullbacks. This is what is necessary for us. I'm liking Aaron Bridges. He's looking solid. Physical wide receiver, 4-5. Good medium, good release, good catch in traffic. Really get our guy a weapon right here. <clears throat> we got Tracy Torrance here. 4-2, 40, yes. Got the release, got the catch and trap. Good medium, good deep, good route. Oh, yeah, this, this is a lot better. I like Tracy. I like Tracy. Reggie Rivers. Good motor. Good strength. A great agility. Good pass block power. Pass block finesse is going to give him some troubles. Good run block though. Finesse is bad. Power is good. We'll add him. Corey Scott, here we go. 
great strength. That's what I like to see. And the finesse don't look atrocious. The D though on the run block. It's that Tori as well right there. We need a left end. Speed rusher. Elite acceleration. Good speed. Decent strength. Maybe someone we look at a little more. He looks pretty damn great. I ain't gonna lie to you. Good power move too. We just move him down low. Larry Ojun Joby, 29. Good power. Decent power. Block shit ain't crazy. Good strength though. Okay, I guess we'll give uh, Ojun Joby a one year just in case we can't find somebody here in the draft. Um, low ball him a little bit. Because he does have the interest in us. Good there. I'm paying a lot, yeah. But I really don't want to have to try and find a new middle linebacker, to be honest with you. That's a lot of money. Damn, we cannot outbid Miami. Damn, Bobby. You're getting me, man. You are getting me. Fucking me real good, Bobby. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is it. If I can't get it here, then it is what it is. Alright. That's a lot of money. I should not be paying this, but fuck it. I guess that's it. There's not really a lot of big names out here in this one. I really don't want to go sign Juju that bad. Peppers has too many offers. We got defensive tackle. Mainly getting our middle linebacker back. Don't need defensive tackle. AJ Bouye probably won't be bad, but I'm not really desperate for it. Yeah, we need to get Nate Davis, so right, let's go ahead and eval these offers right here. And let's see who has been signed. We get Bobby back and we get Nate Davis. All right, so those are the two that we need to get. I'm cool with that. Sign Kareem Hunt going to Miami. Pollard to Carolina. Juju to New England. All right. And then who do we have targeted still? We still got Ojun Joby. Still got a little boo-boo off for Amphrey Klee. Uh, go for, let's see if we get Anthony Barr. One year. Four mil. Nothing crazy. I guess that's all we really got. Like I said, poor free agent class. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And we're still on top there. Still on top there. And we go ahead and sign Ojun Joby. Little boo boo offer. Do we still need Klee? Probably not. But I'll leave it in. Why not? Go ahead and evaluate again. Uh oh. People coming in for Anthony Barr now. Klee? Alright, go ahead and withdraw on Klee. That's fine. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting Anthony Barr though. It's either him or Van Noy. No one's interested in Van Noy still. How much of a bidding offer are we getting into? One year. I'll give you one mil. Five. How about that? A little better? Alright. And we do get Anthony Barr now. So, alright. Cool. We got Barr, Ojun Joby, Nate Davis, and Bobby were the main ones. We pick up Ojun Joby, and then Barr will probably get moved right outside linebacker. Play over there for us. So, through free agency so far, we're going to need to address tackle, left tackle in the draft. And then a wide receiver would be nice as well defensively. Uh, we got Ojun Joby to fill for now. May target that in the draft as well. And Anthony Barr will be starting it right outside linebacker for us to start. So I'm actually not mad at our linebacker core right here. I like the, the D line's fine for now, but we definitely do got to find us a left end. And then secondary wise, it is what it is. So yeah, let's see if we could. Let's see if we can find that tackle or wide receiver in the draft. Let's see where they got us projected in the mocks at the moment. Uh, they got us taking Reggie Rivers up here nice and early. And if, if I got, I'm going to trade down if we got to because I really just don't see nothing 
too crazy here at the moment. Uh, my main wide receiver want would be Tracy Torrance here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's about it. Him or left tackle. And then if we went defensive side of the ball, it's going to end up being um, maybe Justin Walsh here. He's got all the, looks like he's got some good player notes there. Good power rush, good speed. Good acceleration, great strength. He looks like the all-around pass rusher we need. Good power move. I'll probably scout him some more, to be honest. He might end up being that pick for us. If it don't go to him, we may be trading down, seeing if we could pick up another second-round pick or something. First this, uh, drop down in the first, pick up a second, and then pick up a first next year. All right, cool. All right, we got Julio. Got us getting Eddie Gates, man. But this undrafted QB, if Justin Walsh falls past two, we may end up picking him up here. But other than that, Tracy Torrance, maybe I might end up just taking the wide receiver. Because that's what seems to be our best option. He's super fast. He's just amazing. Good release. Great speed. I might, I might just pick up Tracy Torrance there. Of course, the Raiders are going to go after him. Um... Nah, I don't really know what else we could target here. So Walsh, we got up to 95% scouted. Like I said, all that stuff's great. He looks, he looks good. I wish I got that block shed. Other than that, yeah, he's got all the skills, all the intangibles. It looks like. If he falls, it's probably gonna be him. If we can't get him, it's probably gonna go end up. I'm probably gonna end up taking Tracy Torrance, just so we get that number two wide receiver for our guy, and then it, tackle. I need to get either Reggie Rivers here or Tory Scott, who is 100% scouted right here. Great strength, good pass block, good pass block power. C on the finesse, B D B. Pretty similar, it looks like. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not feeling good going into this draft, but let's go ahead. Let's rock with it. Let's get it. It's supposed to be a more laid back thing anyway, so let's see. So we go ahead and pause the draft here. Going number one overall, Houston is going to select Justin Walsh. Goes number one instead of two. Okay, okay. Going to then for Detroit is going to be Eddie Gates. They're going to go QB. Now, what do we do? I already have a feeling Tracy's going to be gone. The pass rusher we want isn't there. This probably isn't the best pick, but I think we're going to go with it. Let's go ahead and get the wide receiver. Let's go get Tracy Torrance. He looks just phenomenal. He looks amazing, bro. He's got all needs work on simple concentration drops. Major, exceptional body control on the sideline. Fights for every inch. No issue climbing the ladder. Ba -ba 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 -ba. The physical. 4240. That is disgusting. Great strength. Elite on everything except change of direction. Basically. Uh, great release. Great medium route running. Good spec catch. Good catch in traffic. Good catch in. Shot short and deep are lo looking nice. Probably ain't the best pick, but we're going to do it. Tracy Torrance. Hidden development. Love to see that right there. 99 jump. 98 speed. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Oh, yeah. I'm fine with that because I know the Raiders would have took him. In, what is that? Six. So, whatever. It is what it is. Now... Let's kind of go through here and just get an idea what's going on. This pit goes with QB. Brandon Cummings. Detroit with two top five picks goes there. Raiders end up taking Bridges. Paul Mason going to Carolina. ATL. Tyson Arnold. Alex McTosh. Right end going to Jacksonville. Houston. Or Houston. Washington going for another pass rusher. I'm assuming for Montez Sweat. Uh, who will probably be leaving, I think, this season. 
uh george brown left tackle right there okay so first tackle off the board tom anderson going to cream bay so they gave up on jordan love javier baber right there going to seattle tyler fitzsimmons going to seattle as well john codwell middle linebacker Bengals go for another wide receiver houston for another pick right here going middle linebacker jeremiah jackson going there new york Brandon Pounds, back-to-back here over corner. Tampa Bay, Colin Stroud. And let me, let's look at the draft board right here. Who is available at this moment? Okay. Torrey Scott's coming up. But like I said, the talent ain't really there for it. But I like his, his ratings, to be honest. Him and Rivers are coming up here. So anyone who needs a tackle is probably going to take them. And I think I'm going to reach and probably take one of them, to be honest. Tory's a year younger. They got the same uh, stat lines right here. Strength is about the same. They look the exact same. I guess it's up to the intangibles here. The one year older is probably going to hurt him a little bit. But change of direction, good speed, solid agility. And looking at Tori here. Good speed, great change of direction, good agility, decent acceleration. I'm thinking it's Tori Scott here. I'm not gonna lie just because the year younger definitely uh sides in his favor i know the talent ain't there for it but i think that is gonna be our pick okay let's let it ride let's see which one goes first and we'll probably get the opposite <laughs> and hopefully we just get the chance to take one of them tori scott goes to miami all right I think we need this, this tackle right here. So I think we are going to go ahead and make this trade up right here for Reggie Rivers. What do we got to give up though? What is... So who are the next three picks? Chargers, Vikings, Chiefs. Chargers do have a need for a tackle. It's a right tackle. They could use a left one too. So probably got to get it right here. So for that right there, we'll give up that. Hook you up with a seven. I'll give up a three next year. I don't think this is going to work, but... Oh, shit, it worked. Did I give up too much? Fuck. <laughs> Showing a little lower. Alright, I guess we move up. Let's take a risk here. Hopefully, it don't bite us in the ass. Reggie Rivers. Let's see how you're looking, my guy. Bang. Hidden development. 89 strength. I like that. A year older, unfortunately. But we'll see if we get it done with him. That's a good pick right there. I like that. And now we don't pick till the third, so start doing the user picks. But let's go ahead and see. We didn't really look outside the first round, so we'll see what else is here at the moment. Run stopper right here with possibility of A to C power. I highly doubt it. Zion Sheldon. Elite strength right here. I like that. Solid block shed. I'm guessing the finesse is, yeah, terrible. If that power was a B, it'd be real good, but I like that. Loves to utilize a spin as a counter, as a swift. Uh -huh. I'm liking Z Zion right here. Wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind Zion there. Oh, I can't add him to my board, all right. Then looking at Ramon Johnson here. Strength is decent, but he's got real good speed, B finesse, D block shit, unfortunately. Good tackling, A to C though. Let's go with the pass rusher. Give me Zion.
Normal development. Damn. 90 strength, though. I like that, at least. Might target him next round. Let's go ahead. Let's take the corner. Jamal Love. Jamal Love. Normal development. 88 speed. That's not as bad as I thought. Only two hidden uh, dev players, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and take a look. Draft recap. Let's see what we got. 81 overall Tracy Torrance. Oh my god. Day one playmaker. LSU. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a great pick. I don't care. I don't care if that wasn't really a need. Oh yeah. That's great right there. And we pick up Reggie Rivers right here. 72 overall as well. Hidden dev. I kind of want to see what our other guy was, and I already forgot his name. Hill? Hunter? Something? Something like that. I like this, though. Decent pass block. Good pass block power. Finesse got a, needs a little more work, but definitely you could work with this. Definitely could work with this. Reggie Rivers. Day one starter, left tackle. Uh, unfortunately, Zion was a miss. 65 overall. Jamar Love is 67, 67, 69 in Benjamin, and 62 in Sweat. So missed on Zion. What were you, Zion? Ooh. Yeah, good strength, but ooh. 73 block shed, 68 power. Look at Tory Scott, 72 as well. Very similar ratings here. But is he hitting Dev? Huh. Yes, he is. Alright, that uh, second, third round talent kind of scared me. But he lived up to it, so that's good to see. And I kind of want to see where I messed up here in the third round. Because we took... Where's our pick at? Took Zion here, and we could have gotten uh, another left defensive tackle. Yeah, there was still some mid-70s we could have selected here. Yeah, kind of missed on that pick. Could have went tight end. Look at these. We got a couple good guys right there. Nothing really in the pass rushing, though. Could have been better, but nothing crazy. All right, we missed. This is what it is. Let's go ahead and let me see if there's any adjustments, and we'll go ahead and get into the season. Oh, we'll go sign our QB. Tripping. We got to still go sign our QB. All right, did all that offseason bullshit. Now let's go get our quarterback. <laughs> Finally, time to pick from whoever we want right here. Undrafted, baby. Sam Ellinger, let's bring him back. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, man. It's not looking pretty, you guys. Oh, it's not looking pretty. A 55 overall rookie. Oh, man. All right. Bruce Jennings, 82 throw power. That's disgusting. I'm guessing I'm going to have to just go with whoever has the best freaking arm. Go practice squad eligible. Only one? They only give us one rookie QB to look at? Oh, oh. Do we got to wait a little? I might have to sim a few games. Yeah, we might have to sim a few. I'll go ahead and uh, take him for now. But I might have to sim a few. If that's our only, the only QB we got, the only option. Yeah, that's the only option. What? There was plenty of undrafted QBs on that list. So let's go ahead and just sign them for now. But I'm guessing we're going to end up going with somebody else. LaMarcus Joyner. I like LaMarcus. Don't think the Raiders used him good enough. How much you want? I'll give him that offer. If we can find a spot, we'll find a spot. So, here's a look at our new roster right here. Uh, like I said, we got Nate Davis. We're going to hope we can find a better QB, but man, it might end up being Ugly Jennings right here. But there were other options, so hopefully they end up getting cut or practice squad people that we could pick off.
But once we make our pick, we make our pick. So hopefully it's not Jennings because these stats are atrocious. I do not see us making him into an amazing quarter. He's not, the accuracies aren't the worst, but man, just that throw power is atrocious. How are you going to hit Torrance, my guy? I'd rather see if we get the strongest arm and see if we could just develop the accuracies later. But yep, we got Pittman, Torrance, and then I'm going to actually have Campbell play slot. But yeah, wide receiver three will be Julio. JT, Zach Moss. Yeah, yeah, that's all fine. We got our fullback, Ron. It's not Ron Rivers, is it? Reggie Rivers. Reggie Rivers. It left tackle. Then we got some better backups here. All right, so I actually don't think the offense, the offense is probably going to be trash without a good QB, but no, it's building. Defensively is where we're going to need to solidify. Hopefully, Ojo and Joby can hold us over for a year. Secondary is going to need some help at some point, especially with Stefan getting older. Hopefully, Blackman can continue to be great over there. We got LaMarcus over here to back him up. I may convert him into our slot guy. Yeah. Then we got Anthony Barr over here at right outside linebacker. But I'm going to go ahead and sim through the preseason and see if we can find us a QB. If not, hey, it's Jennings, man. So, we'll see. All right, let's see if we can get us an undrafted QB right here. All right, before we do anything, free agents, QBs, please tell me we got one. Dude, are you serious? None? None of those guys went undrafted. Are you serious? That's tough. That's tough. All right. It is what it is. I guess this is our guy. Oh, man, he is trash. I'm not going to lie. If I get an opportunity next season to get an undrafted QB, we are taking him. Jesus. Bruce Jennings, 55 overall. Okay, it might just be like Mr. Hurricane did, the worst QB uh, draft. At least he's got some speed. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. All right. Here's our guy. Good old Bruce Jennings, Fresno State. Gonna be our QB. All right. Fuck it. Let's rock with it. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. So. Wow, there's really none that we could. Let me double check one more time. There's gotta be somebody. No way all the QBs did not just not go get signed. No rookies. That's crazy. All right. I guess. I usually remember seeing a few of them, man. That's, that's whack. All right. Well, season goal here. Uh, I don't know. Seven wins. I doubt it, but we got JT, so... He's got weapons, too, to throw to in Jennings, so we'll see. Uh, opening day keys is on the defense and the run game. But let's see what the defense. Uh, just stuff in the run. You got to stuff it real good. Najee Harris can't get going. For our weekly strategy to try and get our QB up to the fullest, he is going to be set as a focus player. Already had him set for that for the preseason, so we'll leave it as is there. And yeah, we'll rock out with that. And Bruce Jennings getting his first upgrade right here. Uh, he is going to be improving that accuracy ASAP. Throw power is not much we could do, unfortunately. Um, we could try it and see, but I'm thinking Field General is going to be the best for him. But let's see. Let's see if we get lucky with a throw power upgrade. Throw power. No. Oh, we did. Nice. And an accuracy mid. If we get that throw power to 85, that'd be nice. But I just don't see it jumping up that much. Or maybe we got to go accuracies first. Who knows? We'll see. But let's go ahead and let's get into this first game of his career. First game is a loss, unfortunately. A uh, close one, 19-17. Looked like Pitt got a field goal in the fourth to end it. How did our guy do? Whoa, we got two rookies going at it. We have Brendan Drummond, 267. One and one, and look at Bruce. Two titties and a pick. Okay, 5'11", 
five uh five sacks on Drummond too. We only had two. I like that. Let's look at us. Uh going over to running back. JT did his thing. I like to see that. Wide receiver, Paris Campbell, leading the team with four for 70, four for 33. Tracy Torrance, two for 20. Michael Pittman, two for eight. Both titties, uh, titties going to Ali Cox and Paris Campbell. Uh, no sacks given up. Oh, no, two. Reggie Rivers gave up one. Ryan Kelly. And defensively, we got that right there. How many sacks? Saw we had a few. Quiddy Pay with two. The Force of one. Grover Stewart with one. Zion came in and got one. Okay, I see you, Zion. One pick for Shaq Leonard as well. All right, so this is post commentary. We're going to go ahead and cut the video here and make it into two parts. It's going to be too long. So if you enjoy, please drop a like, hit the subscribe button for more. See how Bruce Jennings' career unfolds. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.